Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Tara Biel from AGI. Uh, today, I'm very happy to uh, meet Professor Zhang, Professor Wang, and other uh, Fudan friends uh, in this online forum. Uh, the topic of my presentation of, of today is a little long. Sectors affecting Japanese attitudes toward foreign workers in the senior care industry. Evidence from a survey targeting four metropolitan areas. Uh, here is the author line uh, of uh, my presentation. First, I would like to briefly introduce the research purpose of this study. Uh, as we know, uh, Japan is the country uh, with the highest uh, aged population rate in the world. In 2020, uh, the population aged 65 and above is nearly 30% of its total population. So uh, with the rapid uh, increase of aged population, some of them become impossible or difficult, very difficult for them for, to, to take care of, uh, of themselves. Uh, so in Japan, uh, there appeared uh, increasing demand for the senior caregiver in both urban Japan and the rural Japan. According to the Japanese Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, uh, according to the estimation of this ministry, uh, the number of caregivers have to increase from 1.9 million uh, in 2006 to 2.46 million in 2024. As we know, the working population of Japan has been decreasing in recent years. So there are at least uh, 550,000 new caregivers are needed uh, by 2025. So there are a huge gap. Uh, how to fill up this gap? Uh, as I said just now, because of the decrease of, I should say, domestic uh, caregiver. So foreign labor are expected to fill up this gap. However, if we check the statistical data, it's easier to find that the growth of foreign labor supply is also very slow. Uh, uh, maybe some of us know, under the current Japanese uh, immigration system, there are about there are four channels to receive foreign caregiver. Uh, uh, the first one, is called EPA special activity, uh, EPX, a special activity and EPA. Between Japan and three Southeast Asia countries, uh, Indonesia, uh, Philippines, and Vietnam, uh, under this EPA, Economic Partnership Agreement, Japan can uh, employ a caregiver from these three countries. This category started from 2008, uh, but the increase speed is very slow. In 2019, the total number uh, uh, who are employed in, in Japan is only 3,587. The second category is called uh, uh, technical training uh, in the field of uh, uh, healthcare. This number is uh, a little bigger, uh, but uh, even in 20, uh, 2020, uh, uh, the total number is only, I think, yeah, the, the number is less than 9,000. The third one is called specific skill work. Uh, uh, basically, uh, the works of this category are selected from the category two. Uh, if they pass the, the special examination, uh, uh, is more strict. So the number is also relatively small, only 2,048. 
40 percent uh, uh, by 2020. The last one, uh, uh, basically, the graduated from the college and a uh, special school in the field of nursing or healthcare. Uh, the number is very limited, uh, less than 600. So the total number is only uh, about uh, 16,000 uh, by February 2020. Why the speed uh, growth of foreign caregiver in Japan is so slow? Uh, roughly speaking, the reason can be classified as two, uh, two kinds. Uh, one uh, are from one, one is supply factors, another one is demand side factors. Uh, our study focuses on the demand side factors. In this list, uh, the study we have two research questions. The first one is, what are the issues of urban Japan needs towards receiving foreign work in the senior care industry? Second one is what kind of individual attributes of urban Japan need affect their issues? Uh, focusing on these two research questions, uh, this study have two basic uh, purpose. The first one is to conduct empirical analysis for answering the about two question. Uh, we use the micro data from uh, 2020 AGI Kyushu University uh, survey. Uh, in this survey, uh, there are two parts. One is called urban survey. Another one is called rural survey. We use the data of urban survey. And uh, uh, then we will make some policy recommendation uh, based on the results of our empirical analysis. Uh, regarding our two research questions, there exist uh, some uh, previous studies. Uh, roughly, they can uh, classified as two kinds. The first one is studies based on surveys by various governments, including national and the local and some other organization. Uh, there are many such kind of uh, surveys. Uh, the studies based on these surveys are helpful understanding the general trend of Japan's issues toward foreign workers or immigrants. However, there are very obvious shortcomings. The first one is that there are no micro data on survey participants attributes uh, or investigated or reported. So it make the in-depth empirical study in, in uh, empirical analysis uh, almost impossible. The second shortcoming is that the questions in this survey are very simple or general, not focusing on senior care works. Uh, usually the number or uh, question uh, less than five, uh, only three of five questions, very simple. Uh, there are uh, also another uh, type of study based on uh, some other surveys. Uh, this survey are usually made, uh, conducted by academic researchers. In these surveys, there are two main features. The first one, uh, is that there are more detailed questions. Uh, more detailed questions are designed for special studies. Second one is that survey particip participants uh, attributes are also investigated. So make it, it possible to use micro data for empirical analysis. The contribution of this kind of study is they are helpful to well understand the impacts of individual attributes on the Attitudes. The shortcoming is that uh, there are very few surveys uh, or studies focused on senior care works, except uh, Lambert, uh, the study by Lambert. Uh, Lambert is my PhD co student. Uh, his study is the one of the very few empirical studies in this field. 
the data used in his study uh, is from, uh, there are two sources. Uh, one is from his own questionnaire survey. Another source is the data of AGI Kyushu University Lura survey. Uh, uh, the main finding in his study uh, can be concluded uh, here. Uh, he found that some individual attributes, including high education experience, foreign exchange experience, senior care in job, uh, job uh, if the participant uh, uh, is worked in senior care sector, uh, they will this this attribute will uh, he found that these attributes have significantly positive impacts on local citizens' attitudes towards receiving foreign caregivers. Uh, however, his research focused on the rural area. Uh, in my in this paper, uh, uh, we focus on the urban area or metropolitan area. Uh, the data uh, of this study are from uh, AGI Kyushu University Survey on Japanese issues toward foreign care works. The financial sponsor uh, of this survey is AGI and Kyushu University. The questionnaire, uh, we, we have 28 question, uh, questions, including seven questions on individual uh, attributes. Uh, uh, these questions are designed by uh, my PhD co-student, uh, Austin Lambert, and me. Uh, as I said just now, there are two parts of the survey, uh, urban survey and uh, rural survey. The target area of urban survey is for metropolitan areas, uh, as we know, uh, in Japan. There are three metropolitan areas, Tokyo metropolitan area, Nagoya metropolitan area, and Osaka metropolitan area. I also add uh, one emerging, uh, I call the fourth metropolitan area, Fukuoka metropolitan area in this survey. And uh, the Target area or rural survey uh, are three prefectures of local region, Hiroshima, Yamaguchi, and uh, Yamane. Uh, in this study, we use the data from urban survey. Uh, please note that this survey was implemented by NTT Commerce Online uh, through their larger scale customer monitoring network. Uh, as some of us know, NTT is the largest telecom company. Uh, so they have a very efficient way to correct representative opinion uh, from their customer. Now let, let me introduce the core part of this study, uh, the impacts of urban residents attributes on their, their uh, attitudes, uh, results of logistic regulation analysis. Before conducting our analysis, we set, uh, set up a few, four hypotheses uh, based on the previous studies. Uh, hypothesis one, uh, people who received a high education or had experience of exchange with foreigners will have more positive attitudes toward receiving foreign works. Hypothesis two, aged people are also usually more conservative than young people, uh, but they uh, are more, they should be more willing to receive care service from uh, foreign care works. Hypothesis three, Compared to females, uh, as we know, females uh, usually pay higher attention, higher attention to community security. Uh, so male should have more positive attitude to receiving foreign works. Hypothesis four, compared to their counterparts of local region, the residents in the three metropolitan, metropolitan area have more 
positive attitude toward receiving foreign care works. Uh, it should be noted that uh, sometimes Japan is uh, divided into two paths, uh, usually de de described as two paths. One is called the three metropolitan area. Uh, the rest of part is called the local region. Uh, in Japan, it's called the Chihoke Di Fang Chuan. Uh, as I said just now, uh, uh, beside three metro major metropolitan area, the Fukuoka metropolitan area, uh, including Fukuoka City, Kitakyushu City, and their surrounding area, is rising to be the uh, fourth major metropolitan area of Japan. Uh, focusing on the, the above four uh, hypotheses, we uh, designed the uh, logistic regression and as uh, the approach of the study. In this model, uh, the dependent variable is the probability of selecting a particular answer to question uh, one or zero. We also uh, import 12 explanatory variables uh, in the model. Uh, they are introduced in table one. Uh, this table shows the dependent variable and explanatory variable uh, in the models. The variable marked in blue are dependent variables. Uh, they are answers to select the question, uh, some most important questions. And the other 12 uh, variable are uh, explanatory variable, uh, for example, gender, uh, if male, uh, one, female, zero, age, high area, higher area refer to uh, high income area, dummy. Uh, in this study, we take Minato-ku, uh, Minato district of Tokyo as a high income area. Tokyo, Nagoya, Osaka, Fukuoka are for uh, other area dummy. Medicare referred to medical forgot. If yes, uh, is one. If no, zero. Each position means high position. Uh, if the po the the, the participant the, the position is above Bucho, uh, uh the value is one, others uh, are zero. Education level, in our study, we, we have four, four uh, we have eight level of education level. For low bus check, we also include another uh, variable uh, for education, high education, higher education mean, if college education about equal to one, other equal zero. Foreign exchange, I uh, mean, exchange, their exchange with the foreigners, if yes, one uh, uh, is zero. So uh, based on this approach and the data, uh, logistic regression analysts are conducted focusing on four select question, question two, question five, question 10, and question 11. Uh, because from this question, a few core attitudes toward the foreign caregiver can be identified. Uh, now let's introduce the result uh, of analysis. Table two shows the result of logistic regression analysis on question two. Uh, what's question two? Question two is, do you feel the local economy will improve with the infusion of more foreign caregiver? Uh, uh, answer one, uh, very uh, positive. Answer two is uh, uh, relative, uh, yeah, becoming work and work. Uh, so uh, in our analysis, we take answer one, other equal zero. Uh, so from this result table, we can find that as we expected, variable foreign exchange uh, variable higher education and variable uh, gender. Uh, they uh, have stat 
statistically positive, positive uh, impact on their answer, uh, selecting A1. Uh, table three shows the results of uh, logistic relation as on question five. Uh, question five is, could a foreign population change your culture and the local way of life? Uh, answer A1 and A2 are quite positive or relative positive. Uh, let me introduce it quickly. A1, foreign residents will not change my culture. They will only leach it. A2, foreign residents will not entirely disrupt my culture. The other response are quite negative. So uh, in this analysis, AI or A2 uh, equal one, other answer equal zero. So from this result table, we can find that variable foreign exchange, edu high education, and age show statistically positive impact, positive effect. But others, uh, oh, uh, yeah, these three have statistically positive effects. However, the Nagoya dummy, a little surprising, uh, uh, has statistically negative effect on the answer. Uh, of selecting a I or a two, and the other two dummy and legion dummy Tokyo and Osaka uh, also has a negative uh, effect near the significant level. Uh, so it's a little out of our expect, but as I will explain uh, later, uh, they can be explained uh, because uh, some of us know. Uh, oh, I should uh, say that the effect of this legion dummy are compared to Fukuoka. Uh, Fukuoka is the base area uh, for comparison. Uh, as some of us maybe know, uh, Fukuoka and uh, its surrounding Kyushu region, in fact, has a longer history uh, to exchange with the Asian country, and even Europe country. Uh, so if we consider uh, carefully, this result can be uh, accepted. Table four shows the result of logistic regulation errors on question 10. Question 10 is, would you be open to uh, receiving care from a foreign care caregiver? Uh, we can find that variable foreign exchanger high education and age uh, keep uh, statistically positive uh, effect. Here, uh, it should be noted that high position the variable has a negative effect, although uh, the significance is uh, not so high, uh, about 0 0.05, but near the uh, level of significance. So it means the people with a high position uh, probably have more resource, financial resource to, uh, they are willing to receive better service. Table five shows the results of logistic regulation analysis on question 11. Uh, question 11 is, do you consider foreign care quality uh, the same as from uh, domestic Japanese work? In this question, A1 or A2 are quite po positive. So we take this kind of answer as one, other uh, zero. So from the result table, we can find that foreign exchange experience, high education and uh, age, uh, again, uh, show the statistically positive effect on their choice of A1 or A2. Uh, but the high education variables, uh, the, the significance is a little weak uh, and not, not significant, uh, but have positive effect. 
So uh, finally, I want to use two or three minutes to summarize the main finding of the study. Uh, point one, higher or longer education and experience of exchange with foreigners have significantly positive impacts on Japan's attitude towards receiving foreign works. So our hypothesis one is supported by this uh, nice result. Point two, age has significant positive impacts on Japan's attitudes to receive care service from foreign works. Uh, this uh, hypothesis two is also supported. Point three, Male gender has significant positive impacts on Japan's attitude towards economic contribution of foreign work. Uh, not for all question, uh, but uh, in case of evolution for the economic contribution, male gender uh, has significant positive impacts. So hyper three is partly supported. Point of four, compared to area dummy Fukuoka, the dummy variables are three major metropolitan area basically have negative or even significant negative impacts on receiving foreign care works. Uh, so the hypothesis four is rejected in the study. The reason, uh, regarding the reason, as I uh, partly explained just now, we think, uh, Japanese residents in Fukuoka metropolitan area, main, mainly including Fukuoka city and Kitakyu city, where is a near other Asian country and also has a longer exchange history with the foreign culture is more uh, open uh, than the counterparts of three um, major metropolitan area. In addition, we also found that higher position variable has almost a significant negative impact on receiving service of foreign caregiver. So based on this uh, analysis result, we raise some suggestion, partially suggestion. Uh, in order to promote receiving foreign caregiver more efficiently, the foreign policy response are necessary or should be encouraged. Uh, first, Universities should be encouraged to provide more public lectures for the members of local society. Second, government should provide more support for increasing international exchange channel, uh, for example, exchange student program and so on for young Japanese. Actually in recent year, young Japanese, the international parents of young Japanese are significantly decreasing in recent years. Third, worries from female residents uh, who pay more attention to security should be paid high attention with careful design of corresponding measures. Uh, fourth, people with a high position who have less demand for care service of foreign caregiver, but they have higher influence on person making. Uh, so they should be targeted and encouraged to pay more attention to this uh, elderly care uh, program. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, based on the result of this study, we think uh, Fukuoka metropolitan area and the surrounding uh, prefecture in Kyushu, uh, which are friendly uh, to foreign works, uh, should uh, take use of the their location and the culture advantage to attract uh, both foreign uh, and domestic laborers to develop the senior care service and health related industry. Uh, uh, that's all, thank you. Tai san From the sound. Yes, are you there? Are uh, oh, you asking I, me? Okay. Yes, yes. I was thinking of asking a question to you. I was just thinking because, as you know, uh, for example, like when you are giving a question, mm -hmm. uh, like asking a question on this kind of sensitive topic, mm -hmm. uh, people will uh, answer favorably. Like, yes, 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 yes. Do you want, do you think foreigners are good? Everybody will say that yes, yes, yes. No, uh, there are no such kind of case because as I introduced just now, uh, we 
ask the MTT com uh, online to do this. They distribute this question to their customer. This customer is in their monitor system. They can maybe get some benefit from NTT. So usually they answer the question very seriously because they are in the system, they are monitoring. Yes. System. So why I am saying is that this mm. is kind of a very uh, like nice area of research in mm. this field. There, uh, like uh, one is called like a uh, uh, like, uh, uh, surveyor bias because the surveyor is asking question Mm. more people are likely to say yes, yes, yes. And another is called social desirability bias because society wants that like, okay, uh, if I say I hate foreigners, society mm -hmm. will uh, not like me. So I will more likely to say uh, yes. I, on overall, I'm not saying that uh, uh, everyone will say. So, so do you think this kind of, uh, think will be a problem even if it's online? Yes, actually, as you said, in online uh, investigations, such uh, answer uh, are very, uh, how to say, uh, it sometimes will appear. But in our survey, we designed the questionnaire, uh, discussed and de designed this questionnaire for more than three years and also discussed for three, uh, three months, also discussed for three months. So every question consists of five choice. There are no yes, no, just yes, no. In, as I said, uh, I introduced in my presentation, some government survey actually are very simple, just a yes or no. But in our case, every question can, uh, is composed of five choice. So we checked every answer for this question. Uh, I think their answers are very serious. Uh, so uh -huh. you can, if you have interest, I can uh, share these answers to you and uh, Dominic San. In the future, we can uh, commonly use the, this uh, questionnaire data uh, because micro data, uh, if we that, only yes. use, use one time, it's too, it's a waste of money. Uh, so yes. every year I, we should uh, conduct uh, some interesting survey. And uh, after five years or 10 years, they will be become a very important asset. So mm -hmm. uh, after next, uh, this month, maybe in next month, I will send the data to, to you and uh, uh, Dominic San. If you have interest, okay. you can also write paper uh, based on this okay. survey. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you very much. But I am really happy that and I, I am really happy that you took such kind of a nice uh, effort, which is really, really important and which has never been done in Japan. So I, 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 I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. For your question. Hello, Professor. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, see, please. I have a question. Okay. Can you see me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, Pan -san, uh, Dr. Pan? Oh. Yeah, uh, Professor Dad, I have a question about your research, uh, about the, uh, maybe I, I, I uh, it's my fault, but I just learned about that. The people in metrop metropolitan area in Japan, hmm. they, have a negative attitude to, towards the the migrant the care, caregivers, right? Yeah, uh, compared to Fukuoka area, there are four regional dummy. The base area is Fukuoka, other three metropolitan area, uh, Tokyo, Nagoya, and Osaka show significant, uh, at least show negative, uh, impacts on their selection, particularly in case of Nagoya, the effect of uh, Nagoya dummy uh, is the significant and negative. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay, but I, 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 I don't know where is the Nagoya and the other- You don't know. Nagoya don't means know. Ningu, uh, uh, let me Ningu, speak in okay. Chinese. So yeah. Nagoya, maybe uh, people cannot respond to what, what's Nagoya. Tokyo okay. means Tokyo, Tokyo, Dongjing, 
、名古屋名名古屋啊，大阪的名呃大阪啊，这三大地区，这叫在日本呃 ，basically Japan is like 呃 ，I willing to say the three metropolitan area， 三大都市圈 ，and the other region。这个阿德利郡很大，就是他们叫地方圈啊，但地方圈里面也有一些大城市，比如我们所在的北九州跟福冈，这个呢曾经是日本的第四工业呃带啊，那么最后后来衰落了，为什么衰落呢？因为美日本的经济重心往太平洋那边发展，往美国那边发展，以前呢跟中国关系好的时候，就是九州这边就。是日本最重要的港口。那么九州这个地区呢？大家学日本，如果知道日本历史，可以知道是日本改革开放的 frontier place 啊，是那个明治维新啊，什么都是从九州开始，从长崎啊，呃，这种地方开始。所以，呃，在人们的印象当中呢，好像三大都市圈应该更加开放一点，因为外国人也多，什么什么。呃，但实际上我们这个结果表明呢，哎，这个九州。特别是这个福冈这个地区还是挺开放的啊，对那个，因为非常显著的那个差别，嗯，那如果仔细想呢，也是有道理，因为它靠近中国、韩国，历史上日本最早跟外国发生交流的，不是东京，不是京都和大阪，而是九州啊，因为反过来再重新说遍，因为当时的中世界最对日本最重要的国家不是美国，是中国啊，所以中国这个。在边上的话，它最早改革开放是开放是在九州地区，所以会不会是另外一个原因呢？比如说，另外呃，东京、大阪、名古屋三个都市圈、嗯，他们可以吸收大量的内部的人，他们可能不太需要这个，不如呃，福冈更需要外国的。移民啊，内部的人就可以去来给他们提供这种，会不会有这种？这个呃，也可能也有这方面的原因，但最近三大都市圈留到三大都市圈的人口的量也蛮少了，就是越来越，因为地区之间的收入差距小了以后，我们看还是，就是说这三大都市圈，东京还是保持净流入的，但是名古屋跟那个呃大阪呢。是已经是呃 around zero， 就是零增长，增长非常小，就几千几百人这样的这种一个数字。呃，实际上那个名古它流入的一个背景，另外一个背景，为什么名古特别 negative 呢？它的来的外国移民、外国劳动者不是什么中国、韩国来的，主要是来自南美啊，是因为是那个巴西、阿根廷那边自地这种地方，这个他们为什么这地方？来那么多人呢？因为在历史上，日本曾经送出很多移民到南美去开拓啊。那么他们的二代、三代，呃，就是呃，优先被安排到进入日本啊。优先就是说，你只要有一点血缘关系的话，就优先作为呃这个移民政策里面就是优先进入。所以他们在很多在名古屋附近，因为通丰田在那个地区嘛，丰田下面有几百家的这种，呃，相关的公司都雇佣了很多这方面制造业。那么他们讲的语言呢，也不是不懂汉语，呃，也不懂英语啊，他们是呃葡萄牙、西班牙那种语言嘛，所以有跟当地的文化交流有冲突。反正这个呃，结果是显示三大都市圈它的。阿米就是那个，反而是负的。那么虽然有点意外，但是还可以解释。行，谢谢你的问题，我们以后再交流。我们再稍微休息一会啊，谢谢。好的，谢谢谢谢。